students one more time your science teacher is here to telling something about with a new topic so students in this picture what you are seeing anybody can tell me i am telling you that you are seeing some vegetables and fruits and leafy vegetables leaves are here and you are seeing flowers pictures are also here you can see these all things very clearly so students any question is coming in your mind from where you get these things from where these things produced how you get these things so students today we will see from where we will get these things we get these all the things from the plants so students today our topic is about plant in your textbook you can see the chapter number 1 that is green plants the food producers they are the food producers plant are the food producers because they are responsible for making food they are not depending on any other organisms only they are depending on the sunlight they are making their food with the help of a pigment that is called the chlorophyll this green color of leaf you can see this is because of chlorophyll we all know that that living things need food for growth and repair of their body parts but not all of them can produce food animals and human being lack this ability green plants are the only living things that can produce food they are able to do so because of the presence of substance called chlorophyll this chlorophyll word is new for you so you have to learn the spelling chlorophyll is green in color and is also responsible for imparting green colors to the leaves it is giving green colors to leaves so students now we will see in this chapter how leaf prepare food which parts of plant prepare food that is leaf leaf is a part of plant which is responsible to prepare food it is also called the kitchen of plant because their food is preparing now we will see all the parts of plant so students we will see in this picture very clearly this is the part root which is under this area it is inside the soil inside the soil part is called roots and upside soil that is shoot this all area come under shoot in this picture we can see this is stem we can see it is called stem this red color you are seeing this it is called fruits like you have seen one one example this it is different kinds of fruits you can see this apple it is also a fruit then you can see leaf these all are the leaf it is the leaf of plant you can see flower you can see in this picture different different flowers are there in these also flowers may be in different colors it may be green it may be yellow it may be pink different different types of flowers are there you can see this bird this bud is converted into flower half of the flower part is becoming full after this development of bud and branches are also there from this stem there are so many branches you can see in this picture it is very clear so student these all are the parts of plant i hope you all have understood what is plant part what are the parts of plant so one more time we can recall flower bud branch leaf fruit stem and roots these are the part of plant you can see this this is the part of plant so students one exercise has given in your book you can open this page number 3 and after understanding this picture what you have understood about flower parts so we can write the name so we are seeing this it is it is a flower we can say this it is a flower and this is branch after that it is leaf it is called stem 
and this small small birds are also there that is called bird it is root so this portion is called root and this portion is called shoot you can see this it is part of shoot and this red color that this is the fruits so students it is very clear you can feel as a as a worksheet you can complete this work now only in class what you have understood and what are these parts of plant what do we call that so students it is very clear about parts of plant uh it is flower bud branch leaf fruit stem and roots now we will see our next topic that is structure of leaf and function of leaf you can see it is the structure of leaf i have drawn this for you this is the upper part that is called tip and these are the margin this is mid rib these are the veins and this is lamina this lining part it is called petiole from where this petiole is attached to the plant so this is the part of leaf you have understood this is the top part so we will tell tip then margin all corners this mid rib from there veins are coming out that lamina is present in the leaf and the color of leaf is green because of the presence of uh that chlorophyll if we will see in our biology lab in under the microscope so these leaf is having minute typical pores like these small small pores are present in the leaf 